if my transmitter picks up okay I should have sound now it looks like I have full batteries on both things won't y'all be happy when Susie's back I think she's back next week right Susie Susie okay hopefully y'all can hear me now I feel like the go old guy from the Verizon commercial right can you hear me now can you hear me now can you hear me now all right let's see the magic of technology okay oh good sound woo, woo. hey everybody there's so many of you popped on already today welcome to Tuesday live I'm so glad that you're here you all know this is my favorite day of the week woo, woo. Um, so take a deep breath yay Susie will be back next week that'll be very helpful um, Leanne looks like she's on board with us okay let's get busy mana mana okay so tons of questions this week just generally about buddy bags and so I wanted to remind all of you and Leanne you may not know this yet but I sent you an email with a bunch of the links that I was going to talk about today um, a new format so if you haven't had a chance to look I did it just before we started or just before I turned things on there is a buddy bag product grid like this <clears throat> and this is really helpful if you want to go online and print it or have it available to look at and then <clears throat> whenever I'm talking about buddy bags um, you can use it as a little like oh I need to check that one out or oh this will fit you know not everything so we have this little column here about the things that'll fit in your buddy bags but not everything um, that fits is on there it's just like the most common things I guess so I'm gonna start with <coughs> oh I'm gonna start with this it's convenient that I'm talking about buddy bags today we have questions about buddy bags today because um, they're on sale today as well so it is a four for three which means you buy three and you get your fourth one free my understanding is um, you just put them in your cart and your shopping cart will automatically adjust that for you so if you need some buddy bags which you might not think you do but you may after we talk about a little bit today this is the time to buy them because you're gonna buy three and get your fourth one free okay Wendy from Canada qual called and she was inquiring about which buddy bag is best for tailored expressions inks and um, that's going to be the Stephanie. So uh, the tailored expressions inks are the same size as the Stamps of Life, Gina K. They're all made by the same, um, right? The cases are all the same. They're this size. So tailored expressions inks are going to fit perfectly in the Stephanie Buddy Bag. Now, the Stephanie Buddy Bag is going to hold somewhere between 24 and 28 ink pads depending on the depth of the ink pads how they stack together if you don't have that many um, I would still recommend the Stephanie bag because the way the containers are in the Stephanie bag even if you only have six or twelve you're still able to use those other two sections with no problem because everything's kind of divided up and neat and tidy and I think let's try this you could even turn like say you're gonna put uh, reinkers in here or you were gonna put I don't know paint models or something else in your other two you can use them this way which is how they're designed for ink but you can turn them the other way and put paint bottles or whatever and so you might have some where the boxes are going forward and some where they're going up and down but I would recommend Stephanie the chances are if you can't fill a Stephanie bag now you will be able to at some point because it's addicting right and also when you buy Stephanie you get the little ink sticker so that you can label the outside of your ink pads as well so that's super handy if you if you don't think you're gonna have lots and lots of ink pads and you want to do something smaller for your tailored expressions inks I think you could probably put like 10 of them in a Barbara so this is the Barbara buddy bag these are I'm gonna test it I'm gonna test my theory right now these are the close to my heart magnetic inks um, so those fit really nicely or they're designed to fit actually mm, I bet Irene is gonna be better it's always a process right okay but if you need close to my heart ink storage uh, this is the Barbara so and these are the magnetic close to my heart ink pads so you can see you can get 10 in there and again you can store it 
flat so that your inks are flat. Um, Irene, Irene, Irene. Oh, here we go. So here's Irene. These are the older close to my heart ink pads in Irene, which probably means that these are gonna fit perfectly. It's been a while since I put them in anything other than the Stephanie bag. So yeah, they could told they could also go in the Irene bag. So if you have less uh, or you don't think you're gonna have lots, then um, you could go with the Irene bag. But as I mentioned, you can multiple use your Stephanie bag and you get those, um, you get those additional um, stickers, which are handy. So that's the Irene. Irene has the double Velcro. Um, so you can put tall things in or short things in. The Irene, that's not Irene. Boop. Right. So this is uh, Reinkers and Nubo. You can see just by closing the top, you get kind of two different sizes of buddy bag there. All right. Um, moving right along. Oh, let me check my feed here. Um, uh, oh, Rhonda says she just printed out the buddy bag cheat sheet. Thanks for um, recommending that. Um, oh, Barbara Carlson says HSN has a secret sale going on today. If you're watching HSN, it's craft day. Uh, and she says, search last chance crafts. She says there's lots of good deals there. Thanks, Barbara, for sharing that with everyone. Um, I purchased, okay, so uh, Sherry says, I, I purchased the TS on HSN today. Do you have anything to store the 13 by 13 screen? Um, you know what? I will. Hey, you know what I could do? I'm going to try and call Chastity. Ha <laughs> ha. She works for American Crafts. And I will see if she can't get me the actual dimensions on that right now. And um, I, because I'm sure a lot of you are going to be picking that up. Um, oh, I need to go to the phone though. Not, not, let's see if she'll answer. It depends on um, how, if she's on air right now or getting ready. Chastity. Oh, I don't want her work phone. I want her cell phone. Oop. Let's see. Let's see if she answers. Okay, well, we're doing that, but I will check. We'll see what we can get the answer because I'm sure that's going to be common for you today. Um, Beth Mueller asked, colored pencil. She has colored pencils from Crafters Companion. Should they go in the Sarah? M probably not. Most likely, they should go in the Deb or the Terry bag, and I will show you. So this is the Deborah bag. So these, this is kind of a standard length of pencil. Um, it might work better. Um, it might work better. Na, 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 na. Here's the Terry bag. So you can see the two sizes. The SAR is just way too big for, for the pencils. But if they're a little bit longer, you could go with Terry, a little shorter, Deborah. I think Deborah is out of stock. Um, but I, I would then I would definitely look at the Terry. You can see height-wise, the pencils are, well, let's put them in there and make sure. Let's make sure I'm not giving out bad info, right? So you got a little more space. Mm, they're kind of go, going to go right at the top. I don't know if you can really see that, right? So Deb is the ideal. Deborah, the Deborah buddy bag is the ideal. We are out of stock of Deborah, but I'm pretty sure that the Stamps of Life has it. I should have checked on that. The Stamps of Life probably has it, and so does Scrapbook.com if you're in the U.S. Um, if you are in the U.K., I know we've got a bunch of new stuff or a bunch of shipments coming in, so maybe back sooner than later, but definitely... The Deborah or the Ter Deborah preferred, if they're standard pencil length, if they're extra long, and Terry's going to be a perfect fit too. I just don't have that product, so I'm not sure of the length. I will check. Unless, if you're watching, Beth, if you can let me know the length of those pencils, I can confirm that for you. 
Laura Russell says, I'm sure you already answered this, but which buddy bag might you recommend for the older Stampin' Up! ink pads? So Stampin' Up! These are the older Stampin' Up! ink pads, and th these are in the Sue buddy bag. However, I also have some of the older Stampin' Up! in the Leanne buddy bag. So either one is going to work. If you want to have more, store more, go with the Leanne. If you want to store by color family, which is 10 ink pads, I believe, with Stampin' Up!, then the Sue buddy bag is it. I think the Leanne is going to give you more options. And as you can see, I have mixed, oh, maybe you can't see, I've mixed in some old and some new. So if you're kind of trying to keep things by color group and you have some of the old ones and some of the new ones, right, it's easy then, like this is a green or blue, to pop this in with the rest of the blue and keep everything organized, sorry, by color group, regardless of which ink pad you're using. So either the Sue or the Leanne, depending on how many you have and how you want to keep them stored together but it would be my uh, reaction to keep them even though they're two different sizes and shapes to keep them together by color so you could have you know light to dark greens blues whatever so i would say leanne for that and the sue buddy bag if you want to keep them um, smaller or more contained by color group as you purchase them uh Gracie Freebush says, which is the best way to store my mini Tim Holtz Distress inks and the blending ink tools? I don't know which ink tool, which blending ink tools you are using, but I'm trying to find here. So this is the Shelly Buddy Bag. This, these are not the Tim Holtz um, ink, ink, mini inks, but you can get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I think you can get like 24 Tim Holtz mini inks in this bag, right? And when I put them in, I put them facing left and right and top. So you can see them on three sides. So, and then I have, so this is, these are the Stephanie Bernard, the older Stephanie Bernard inks. I have the, the pads that I use with the blending tool with these and I just put them in between. I don't know if you can see this. I put them in between the plastic box and the buddy and the vinyl bag. Now the ink does get on the vinyl, but you can wipe it right off and it keeps the ink not if there's still ink you when you put them in there, it keeps the ink away from everything else, right? It gets on the vinyl and you can wipe it off <coughs> on the vinyl, but you're, it's not on the ink pad. It's not on your hands or any of that kind of stuff. So that's the Shelly. <laughs> Um, buddy bag. Now you can also, this is the eight drawer storage and supply case. And I'm sorry, I meant to give Leanne a link to this. Maybe um, she could put a link up to it or Barbara, if you're on, I know you're super fast with links as well. I mean, you are on Barbara. So if you have a chance, that'd be great. Um, so you can see this fits all of the small ink pads. I'm sorry, I forget that the camera doesn't go all the way to my bottom of my desk. So a variety of them, and it has the little drawers, right? So you can pull out each section as you need it. This is a collection of Gina K inks. And what I did was I took out the middle drawers and put in the big ink pads. And then down the side here, I have the daubers, the small ink pads that match the big ink pads. And then I have, depending on which type you're using, so these are the Velcro on type or the finger daubers right there as I use them with the ink pad. So a couple of different options um, with regard to that, either the eight drawer or the, um, or something like, uh, or the Shelly buddy bag. Now, I'm just thinking about this right now. If you put this in, not as important for this one because you can see everything. I'm going to do it on this one. It's so funny how I know things for certain products and I don't think about doing it for other products. But you can't see the inks at the top because of the Velcro. So if you're storing these, and you know we talk about this with um, with other things like like wood mounted stamps, woodies. So if you put your tray in 
what feels like backwards. Now, when you pull out this bag, you can see the colors of inks at the top as well. So um, these are just the little square chalks and then, but all those little different brands of inks are gonna fit. And if you put it, so there's the backside now, you'll be able to see everything way all the way up to the top. See, I don't know, I learned something every Tuesday too. Okay, um, quite, Gloria Ralston says, what is what would be the best storage solution for UK A3 sized cards? I have numerous collections from Crafters Companion. I just want to say I love all your products, Tiffany. I do like to try your new releases. Just don't tell my bank. Keep up your amazing work. I don't know what size. I'm going to ask the what size is A3. Let me see. A3 is 297. So, dun, dun, dun. so just shy of 12 inches by 42, ooh, 12 by 16. I got nothing for you on the A3, um, unless I'm reading this wrong. So I will, I think that's a great question. And with so many, um, so many people in the UK, well, in Europe, anywhere but the US probably uses A3. I will definitely uh, bring that up with the um, with the Crafters Companion crew, and maybe we can at least get you a um, fab file and or maybe a paper taker that would hold that size paper. So thanks for asking about that. I'm sorry to say I do not have a good... Um, a good solution. Uh, Teresa Dari says, I was gifted a scrap rack, but the guide wire that holds the base together was missing. Can I order a replacement? If so, how do I go about doing that? Thank you. Um, you can reach out to customer service at totally-tiffany.com and tell Leanne, hey, I need the hook that holds my uh, scrap rack base hinges. Or you can just say what you said here. Actually, she's on, so she's probably going to be waiting for your email. In the meantime, that guide wire, that hook is the same dimension as a wire hanger. So if you have a good piece of or a good pair of wire snips, you can take a wire hanger and cut it at the end of the straight and then let it go with the curve, cut it on the other side of the curve. And you will have a guide wire that you can use either forever or temporarily till uh, Leanne is able to help you get one, but a standard wire hanger, clip, clip, and you've got a guide wire. Um, so super easy solution for the short term. And then Leanne can help you hopefully get one since yours was missing. Um, it's, we should have them. Uh, Cheryl Willoughby says, Tiffany, I have been out of the Tuesday loop most of the summer. I'm so happy to be much better. I'm glad you're doing better too, Cheryl. It's good to hear from you. Yay. I'm liking what I see in the 12 by 12 stash and carry containers. What sizes and shapes do the drawer inserts come in? They come in three sizes. Let me clean up my mess a little bit here. Bum, bum. So it comes in the two drawer. So these are six inches by 12 inches. And like I said, they're, like I always say, they're a little bit bigger than that. Sorry, I forgot I'm supposed to be paying attention to, um, whoop. I'm so not uh, tech friendly. Okay, so the actual drawer size on the inside is six inches by like 12 and a half, okay? So you've got the, the two drawer, so these are 12 by six. You have got the six drawer, um, so you've got 12 by two, three 12 inch by two, those are my long ones, and then three four by six down the center. Now, the four by six are, ho are hooked together. Oh, there's my daubers and such right? So they pull out. So make sure when you get this, if you bought this, you'd use those little notch and tabs to connect the three drawers together so that if you want something at the bottom drawer, everything pulls out together. The exact dimensions on these interior dimensions, it's like six 
and an eighth by four and an eighth. So you probably could actually use them for storing anything that's a true four by six. Maybe you wanna organize photos. Maybe you're planning to go to a crop and you wanna do you know, by album or group them together, sort of pre-sort them. Those would probably fit in there, no problem. Now one thing about, and oh, and then I'll do the last size. One thing about these is um, the, the flaps seem kind of funky the way they close when you first get them. But the reason they're made that way is so that when you're gonna use them, the flaps will fold all the way back. This will kind of tuck under your strap here. And then um, that's gonna hold that back. And then you can pull things in and out while you're using them, right? So that's why the flaps fold back this way as opposed to kind of what you would normally expect the flaps to do. I wanted you to have access more easily this way than it to look pretty when it was closed, if that makes sense. So that's the six drawer. And then I should close this so I don't dump it on the floor or anything crazy, right? Um, and then this is the four drawer. Now, all of them come with a big label card. So when you open your, your things, you're gonna find this in the bag and you're gonna think that is weird. Why do I have this piece of cardboard in the bag? And that is your label for your great big label pocket. So don't throw that away. And then the four drawer is, is six by six. So the question I got um, from, and I did a little post on this on Instagram, was about the um, which six by six paper pad brands actually fit in here. If the paper pad is a true six by six, it's going to fit. A lot of six by six paper pad manufacturers, paper pad is six and a quarter or six and a half, one dimension, they're not gonna fit. So true six by six, like this, no extra is gonna fit fine, right? No problem, but if your paper manufacturer is manufacturing something that is like six and a quarter or six and a half, one direction, those are not gonna fit. However, which is what I did in the post, the 12, <coughs> The two drawer, you can fit two paper pads in here that are a little bit longer. So uh, like the Stamps of Life paper pads, you can put two stacks of paper pads so you can get four stacks in the two drawer. They will stack up together because you do have that extra uh, half three quarter inch vertically. So if the pad's a little bit bigger, it's gonna work for that. So those are the three 12 by 12 storage and supply cases. Now I'm gonna, had a meeting this morning with Crafters Companion and um, they are in stock right now. All three designs are in stock, but the stock is somewhat limited on them. We're not gonna sell out tomorrow or anything, but um, we were talking about the fact that they are probably gonna sell out this month. And then it'll be almost six months before we have them back in stock. They sold so incredibly well when we launched them um, that we didn't order nearly enough for, you know, we usually order six months of inventory at a time. And then as it rotates in, we're able to keep it in stock or that's our goal anyway. So these are going to be probably out of stock by the end of the month. So if you love them, take advantage of them sooner than later so that you don't, um, so that you're able to get what you need. Okay. So Cheryl Willoughby also said that she is redesigning her craft room. She's in a wheelchair, uh, which means, um, that all this space that's really high up is sort of wasted space. And did I have any suggestions for that? Um, so obviously going vertical with as much stuff as you can is gonna sort of maximize your shelf space. But I wanted to share with you, I don't know if most people even know these exist, but there is a product called a wardrobe lift and it's, for, it's designed for people who have closets well, like here, this has this ceiling is 10 feet, right? So if I had a closet that was 10 feet tall, I couldn't reach this stuff at the top without a ladder. Well, a wardrobe lift is this cool design, this bar that has a pull handle on it. And you pull the handle down and it brings the rack of clothing down to you so you can grab your shirt off and then you push it back up with the handle and it locks up. So it's a way to use that upper space in your closet. And I put a link um, Leanne will probably post it. And you're thinking, what does that have to do with organizing craft supplies? Well, if you use those wardrobe lifts, you might have to extend the bar a little bit. I don't know how long they are. Um, uh, on 
higher than you would normally be able to reach, you could suspend things on that bar. Like maybe you're, you could hang buddy bags. You could, <clears throat> I know a lot of people uh, use like a 12 by 12 pocket um, and clipped it to a hanger, right? To hang their um, paper. There was like a, this whole system inside a closet that you could do that. So if you can figure out how to hang whatever it is that you need or that you want to store up high, then it would allow you to pull it down, take that buddy bag off uh, the bar and push the bar back up, right? So a lot of different, we used to make those closet um, uh, over the door storage. It would, that kind of thing would be perfect, the pockets on it so that you could push it up and pull it back. So hopefully that will help. I did find a link to them um, and Leanne will put it up so you can take a peek. Now, something I always forget to talk about in the very beginning is um, we give away a $25 gift certificate every week. You get in that drawing by put it, by asking a question, commenting, you know, just getting in the feed so we know that you're here. So who you are, where you're from, what your favorite Totally Tiffany product is. Maybe a great thing to tell us this uh, today is how long you've been following or why you follow or whatever it is. What's your favorite thing about coming to Tuesday Live? And then that'll get your name in the drawing so you can win the gift certificate, which we give away at the end every week. So, all right. Um, L. Takalak Takalis, sorry, I'm sure I'm massacring your name, wants to know um, when will the scrap rack expansion with Spinders be back in stock? I don't know. We have them in the US warehouse. I sent another email this morning saying, hey, is there any way we can get these on the TT? website so that people can actually purchase them. I will follow up um, next week, if not sooner. You know, I may go in just to your uh, question when I get an answer and post in there that it's available or where you can buy it. I'm also trying to get those units that are in the U.S. warehouse up at scrapbook.com so you could even purchase it from scrapbook.com. So doing the best for you to get that on there. We do have them in stock in the warehouse. It's just that they're not anywhere for people to actually purchase them. So I'm on that for you. Also today, there was an error in today's email if you received it. It's just a silly thing, but someone already brought it to my attention. This last section of the email right here, uh, it's, it says, die and stamp storage power pack. And the question to me was, how are those buddy bags good for die and stamp storage? They're not. That, um, I'm sure when they set up the email, they set up the blocks and the first block was a dime stamp storage power pack. And then they go in and change the text and the words for each block. And it looks like that just got missed. Um, it should say buddy bag bundle or something there, but there is not a good way to use those buddy bags. That's just an error in the email. It is a great deal on the bundle of bags though. So you don't want to miss out that part. Okay, let's see. What do we have here from... Uh, good morning. Wonder if your 10 inch slide session stores are for sale yet. No, I think those are going to launch in, um, I think those are launching in January. I'm going to put, I'm going to ask again, 10 inch S S and S launch. And we'll try to get some posts up about that. So, you know, and I think they're going to launch on HSN. I don't know that for sure, but I think they are. Um, Janine Colson says, what bag will fit the TSOL long paper pads, nine inch, by six inch. I think those are going to fit best in the slim line storage box, uh, which I believe Stephanie, the stamps of life has on their website. So let me grab one really quick. Cause I don't think I have one back here, but the slim line storage case, which I think they may also have on HSN right now. Um, or there's a bundle maybe on HSN. But I think Stephanie sells just the case, and I'm pretty sure we sort of tested that all out. Yeah, so it is, oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is only five inches tall. Yeah, so it's five and a quarter. So if her paper is, it's definitely nine inches long. It's 10 inches long. So if her paper is actually six inches, it's going to be too tall for this. It will fit in dun, 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 this, which is 12 by 6. So you're going to have some extra space in there. So this is the, um, when you can see, I've got, 
like six by six paper pads and they're side by side. So you could use this for your six by six and then also the nine by six paper pads would fit in there as well. This is under the Kiwi Lane collection. It is the 12 by six storage box. So if you look under Kiwi Lane, um, you'll see that as the 12 by six storage box. And maybe again, Barbara or um, Leanne, if you could throw a link up to that, that would be great. And uh, okay, buddy bags. Okay, I, I, I will tell you, huh, we, we do have some new, really cool <laughs> um, buddy bags. Well, they're not buddy bags, they're called toolboxes. And they are a zipper front. Let me sneak one. I'm going to sneak one. Okay. This is why we're here, right? I'm going to sneak peek these to you. And you can tell me what you think. Sorry, I don't have them uh, right in front of me here. But I'm going to pull them out, my little secret stash, and show you what they are, what they look like, and how they work. But I think... There is one that is going to fit. Yeah, I think this one is going to fit nine by six. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. You're going to love them. Okay. I, I, and I think these are January also. I think these are coming out at the beginning of the year. So look at these. Three different sizes, right? And I think this one is going to fit nine by six. So definitely put on my glasses. So this is your sneak peek, ladies. This is the beauty of coming to Tuesday Live. You get to see some little goodies. Yes, that's 10 inches. Oh, is it going to be tall enough? Oh, I should know this, right? Like, I guess everything doesn't stick in my head, but you would think, yeah, this is right, right at six inches tall. So let's grab a six by six paper pad or two and see if how that works so yeah these are going to be worth planning for you're going to love them okay cross your fingers oh they look too tall they are too tall darn it so no that's not going to work for that either all right but those you got this nice tall one right here this is going to definitely fit six but will it go nine that's the question will it go nine by six? Oh yeah just it's exactly nine and you will so you will be able to get your nine by six paper pads in this if you wanted to use it for that oh yeah it's got the height and then the length so keep your eye out for these coming coming soon and like i said most likely they will be launching on home shopping network but well, I don't know. Maybe they're going to be on Stephanie on the Stamps of Life first. I know she launches a lot of stuff for us right here in the U.S. first. So ah, there was your sneak peek. Woo -woo. Okay. Next question. Uh, when are we starting the next Get Organized Challenge? I brought it up today on uh, in my meeting and said, hey, we got to get a date and figure out what we're doing there. So hopefully sooner than later, I'm going to have an answer to that question. Uh, Corinne Dolman says, husband is getting into models the little paint bottles are so little how do you suggest storing them you know i bet those little paint bottles will fit in the teresa buddy bag so if you compare his little paint bottles to your reinkers if you have them or stickles like glitter glue they're the same size that's going to fit in the teresa buddy bag now if he has a workspace like he doesn't probably travel with, i don't know maybe he does maybe he paint some in the TV room while you guys are watching TV together. So then something like this is good. But um, the six level stadium arranger would be great or even the four level because depending on how he's storing other things, um, I'm going to grab a six level or, or maybe a four level. Sorry. Do I have one right here? No. Oh, I have a four level right here. So here, this if he has a workspace where he's storing all his paints, this might be a good, is this empty? This might be a good option, the four level or the six level. You could even double it up. So you can see I've got two rows of, I don't want to tip it too much, I'll tip over. I've got two rows of, um, whew, of Baker's Twine up here as well. 
So if he has other tools, I, I think there's a picture of this one where I took a square container and um, I put that container in into the system so that it would hold longer, taller things like my paintbrushes. So I don't know what all he has for model building, but something like this that could just kind of hold everything in one place is a little bit portable. You could pick it up and move it around, but it would give him visual access to all those things. If he has tons of paints, then the six level, which is narrower, obviously has six levels instead of four, is gonna hold all those paint bottles in that stair step. So if he's sitting, staying put with it or, or always does it at home, then, then one of the desk made items is gonna be a great option. Um, if he travels with it, then buddy bags are gonna be a good option. And then in that case, you could do you know, a buddy bag for paints and a buddy bag for markers or a couple that way. Um, same way, we, you know, depending on the length of the paintbrushes, Deborah or Terry for holding those paintbrushes. And then um, the, the Teresa buddy bag for the small uh, paint bottles. If the bottles are bigger than I think they are, then you're probably gonna look at something more along the line of Gale. But I think the model paint bottles are about the same size as like glitter glue or reinkers. So check out the size. Let us know how they work. Maybe you could test them out in your Teresa buddy bag and show them how they work and see if he likes that idea. Uh, Ellen Gorman says, for beading, it would be great to have something similar to the Scrap Master, but in an 8.5 by 11, a place for the directions and pockets for all the stuff. Uh, that's a good idea. If you look at, um, help me, the embellishment pages. So if you look at scrap rack pages, look at the embellishment storage pages. And now they have, I used to keep a bunch of beading stuff in, in them. Where are they? Um, so they have the little pockets on the front. So you get 12 little pockets on the front, 12 pockets on the back. They come with the mini Ziploc bags, which, so I put all my beads in the mini Ziploc bag and then put them into the pockets, right? If you have big thing, big beads, like these are pretty big, right? Then you wouldn't necessarily need those in a Ziploc bag because they're big enough to just pull out with your fingers. But then the middle of that, so you have pockets on the front and back, the middle is a pocket. So you could easily store your instructions in there or bigger like if you have big um, like lengths of wire, something like that, look at that. Um, but I'm gonna put down here beading solutions and bring that up to the team at Crafters and we'll see if we can't put our heads together and come up with something like that. But in the meantime, I think you might like the embellishment storage page. It's an eight and a half by 11 version of scrap rack page so it's smaller it's going to fit in different types of binders and stuff might be exactly what you're looking for and i think even if you look at that product online one of the pictures used to be i'm not sure if it's still there a picture of, of all jewelry making supplies in there so it might be a good solution temporarily and i took these out of somewhere i'll have to figure that out all right my friends remember if you haven't commented we're getting near the end of our show so you definitely want to comment and get your name in the mix um, Jennifer Powell says, when will the 12 by 12 punch storage be back in stock? 12 by 12 punch storage be back in stock. I don't know which product you're asking about. 12 by 12 punch storage. Um, if you can be a little bit more specific. Shoot. I don't know. Um, there, there is, maybe it's these, maybe it's the um, punch packs. Uh, let's see if I have one down here. They're not 12 by 12, but um, maybe, maybe one of these punch packs is what you're talking about. They hold different size punches. I was looking to see if I have one loaded up down here, but I do not. What's this? No. Um, if you can be more specific or give me a little bit more information, I'll try to answer that. Uh, Deborah Brush Dumas says, what are the drawers behind your left shoulder? Looks like washi tape in them. Oh, they are washi tape. This is the six drawer storage and supply case. And I just have it open. 
right on my shelf so I can close it up and take it with me. But when it's on the shelf, I just have it open like this and then labeled. So I can, if I want pink washi tape, I can just pull out those drawers and have access to that or just slide it in and out right on the shelf. But there's what we've got there, my friend. You could probably do it this way too. I never thought about that. I mean, it, nah. You have to be really careful when you pull the drawers out. But anyway, there you go. You got it. It's exactly what it is. So the storage and supply cases come in the six drawer, four drawer, which is like this. So this is the original four drawer. And we didn't have the little tabs that notch together. The new version of the four drawer, that's the only change we've made is that we added those notches. But if you have the old one, these are just tiny binder clips. I don't remember who told me that. I'd love to give credit where credit is due, but someone said, hey, here's a good way to hook those together. Um, and they use the little binder clip. So I would recommend that if you're sliding your drawers in and out as well. So the, they come in the two drawer, a two drawer, a four drawer, and the six drawer. And those are storage and the smaller storage and supply cases. So if you go to the storage and supply case page, again, maybe Barb or Leanne could um, add a link to that. You'll see the 12 by 12s, which are the new ones, and then these the smaller versions, which we released, I think, last year. Um, let's see. What are the zipper bags called? I think they're going to be called tool bags, uh, toolboxes. Totally Tiffany toolboxes, I think, something like that. Tool, yeah, I think toolboxes. Uh, Fred171. Will the double-sided stamp storage ever be back in stock? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to look really, really quickly. I don't know why it's taking so long to get that back. In. But I think scrapbook.com carries that and has it. Um, let's look. I'm going to look really quickly. If you're, well, they ship, uh, let's see, A38. Let's see if they'll bring it up. A38. Uh, mm, I don't see it on there. It's funny, you know, searching things. This is this is when Susie's fast fingers come in. No, I don't see it on scrapbook.com either. Um, I do, oh, the Stamps of Life may carry it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll pull up Stamps of Life, totally Tiffany storage. Stephanie makes it, the Stamps of Life website makes it really easy to find storage because it's just in their main category under totally Tiffany storage. So let's see if she's got that. I know she carries some of the other bags. Um, well, I'm looking. Patty Shawberry says, glad I was able to finally make a live. Yay, we're glad you're here. Any good ideas on storage for 12 inch long border strips? Um, yes. I'm gonna show you something really quickly. I'm looking, I don't see that double-sided bag on Stephanie's. She has one and a half inch and she has the one, oh, she does. Uh, Stephanie has the double-sided store and go bag on her website. And I think maybe I can post in the feed. Let's see. I'm going to try and post it right now. Let's see. Can I add to the chat? Oh, I think I can. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, did it go? I can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. The chat feed is very long. Yes. So I just posted up. Stephanie has the double-sided bag. Get it there. Okay. 12-inch long border strips. So my mother and I, as you know, we have this craft club. And one of the things that we did was we cut all these border strips um, for a project we are working on. So look at that. Mm, look at all those. And I found that when I took them to class, I was able to sort them. And so this is like what's left of them by color into this is the one inch slides or the number one slide stash and store so it makes it really easy to store them and then easy to kind of flip through 
and pull out what you need or find what you need in there as well. And if you had like certain colors or styles or something that you were trying to mark, then you could just use something like this, right? Maybe you have, you want to divide by color or by theme or I don't, however you have them. And then you could, you know, these are pinks, these are blues behind this tab. And then it'd be easy to grab the bundle that you want as well. So the one inch, this is the one, no, number one slide stash and store. And these come in packs of three. And I'm going to say there's, this is paper, not cardstock, but I bet there's 200 pieces, 200 of these strips in there easily, but easy to pull out and then easy to store, you know, label the front, pop it on your shelf. I don't have room on my shelf here, but you know how to do it. There you go. All right. Um, okay. I think I got all the questions here. Let me take a quick look at the feed and we will see. Um, Petty Shawberries. Thank you. Thank, perfect. Thanks. Um, Leanne, you're so fast with the links as well. You guys are awesome. Um, let's see. Questions, questions, questions. Um, so one thing that's helpful with questions, which I'm supposed to talk about at the very beginning and I forget, is um, that if you put the word question in all caps or a bunch of question marks before your question, it really kind of pops out in the feed and then it makes it easier for us to track. So if you do that, it's helpful. Uh, to get your question answered. Um, what buddy bags work with heating gun and hot glue sticks? It totally depends on which hot glue gun you have, the size of it, right? So there's there are some mini ones, and then there are some that are slightly larger. I would say in most cases, let me grab one really quickly, that you are going to be able to fit both your hot glue gun and your hot glue sticks into... Um, I'm going to grab a couple sizes here out of my stash of glue guns that you are going to be able to fit a couple of the gun and the glue sticks. So we've got the mini guy, we got the regular size guy, and then this one is a battery operated, so no cord. And I'm going to say, boy, I think this little guy is probably fine. So this is Edna, which is it's basically the same size as, I mean, this is Merle, which is the same size as Edna. So you could easily get your little guy in there with a, a baggie of glue sticks or just loose glue sticks. This would also fit your 12 inch glue sticks, right? So this is the Brandy Buddy Bag with the long glue stick. I don't know if they're actually 12 inches. But those would definitely fit in there as well. Now, the thing about Merle over Edna is if you have the little glue sticks in here loose, Merle has the ear flaps, so the little glue sticks won't slip out the end. So if you are using Edna instead of Merle, then please put your little glue sticks or just leave them. They come in a plastic bag in that plastic bag. So if you're looking, if you have a small glue gun, the, um, well, this would probably fit also in like an Irene bag or let's look at these bigger guys not ideal yeah that's not ideal it's always kind of a challenge right which buddy bag i'll tell you what will fit well is the the new ones our new guys here i'm trying to see who else might fit you could probably put them in a karen i don't like that solution very much because um karen has that slanted top so it's kind of a um you know i don't know it's kind of a so the leanne buddy bag so this is my printmaker right my little mini printer from american crafts and all the accessories you could put either of these in the leanne bag with glue sticks and you would have room for other things as well you also might find that, well, if you're using the bigger ones, you're going to use the bigger glue sticks, I'm sure. So then that's going to be important that the bag is big enough for the glue sticks. So the little guy, maybe an Edna bag or an Irene bag. And 
Let's see. Let's try it. That's my little pom-pom maker. I love American Crafts tools. They come out with the coolest stuff. So if you have a little one, oh yeah, you could easily get your small glue gun and then your baggie of glue sticks in there as well. Obviously it's vinyl, so don't put it in there while it's hot, um, but it only takes a second to cool down. That might work well. So either Merle or um, Irene is gonna work for something small and then I think these will go in a flat. Oh, if you're using these, you need the long one. So you have to, I, you don't have to, but I would definitely say Leanne. I was going to say you could probably get those into a five by seven fab file. But if you have the long sticks, they won't fit. And you want to keep your glue sticks and your glue gun together, if at all possible, right? Keep things together you use together. So that's a good solution for that. All right, my friends, let's see. What else we got? Uh, James Radke says, are you, that's my grandmother's name, Radke, actually. Um, question, are you going to be on HSN today? No, I am not going to be on HSN today. I don't think they have, yeah, I don't think any of the new Totally Tiffany stuff was ready for release today. So I don't think, well, I know I'm not going to be on. How about that? There's a lot of great stuff, though. There's all kinds of goodies on there. So if you've never watched a 24-hour HSN craft day, it might be worth tuning in a little bit and see what they've got going on because they have great deals. They release a lot of new products. Like someone said, the 13 by 13 silk screen is the today's special. Um, I'm going to try and get a post up about how to store that. I'll reach out to Chastity and ask her. Uh, Diane Hill or Dana Hill says, which storage would you recommend for batteries? Depends how you want to store them and how many you want to store. The Teresa Buddy Bag fits most sizes of batteries or the Shelly. Uh, do I have batteries? I just have like double A's. Oh no, I don't. Or the, um, huh. If you have a lot of batteries, this is the four drawer storage and supply case. So um, you can see I've got all kinds of batteries in there. They would be a little bit more, depending on how many you have. I, I think that if you look at like the Teresa, this is a C cell. My mother has, uh, I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. Looks like it. The Teresa, and she stores her batteries in the refrigerator. I don't know. My dad always did that. So, so the Teresa is going to fit uh, double A's, triple A's. It, it's just not going to fit D cells, it looks like. I don't have any triple A's. But you can see, right, you got them all kind of stored in there. She has one of these in her refrigerator, refrigerator, freezer, I think refrigerator, with all her batteries in it, just kind of lined up like that. So depending on how many you have, you may need something bigger like, and I think the six drawer storage and supply case would probably also work and let's see if that will hold your larger d cells they might be too tall for the six drawer let's check it out and see if i have one empty here that would be ideal wouldn't it however what happens is i try to keep empty ones and then i end up needing them so i fill them up with other things Uh, you could probably get this in. They're a little, the D cells are a little bit bigger, a little taller. Mm, well, it depends how many you have too. So, but everything else would probably fit in the six drawer. So one of the things about the six drawer, when you're talking about batteries, is that you might also have, um, cords and cables, like extra charging cords for your phone or your camera or that kind of thing. So you could do your batteries and your cords and cables all together in one, or you can, as you know, mix and match. You could take three, six, three of the six drawer drawers out and put two of the four drawer drawers in. That would fill that same space depending on what you're storing. So I would say if you don't have a lot of batteries, the Teresa Buddy Bag, if you have a lot, um, look at the storage and supply cases. 
either the six drawer or the four drawer or get one of each and then you can mix and match the drawers so that everything stays a little bit like they all work obviously in here but they're not as neat and tidy as I would like them to be however they are findable and accessible and that is the benefit because you can always just label the side of this and then put it in your I don't know wherever you keep things like that linen closet or whatever with a little label on the side that says batteries and it'd be easy to find Oops. all right um debbie watson oh that's what we already said the winner of the tent we already talked about that need to go down here uh, meg Ferroli says any chance you could produce your shut your flap tabs in white i want to use them to label subsets on my rack and want the consistency of white labels uh i don't know that's a good question white s y f s i'll check into it um lori turner says what buddy bag or storage system is best for cards that are five and a half by four and a quarter thank you so much i would say anything that's in our five by seven range five and a half sorry four five and a half by four and a quarter so anything that's in the five by seven range is going to fit that right because everything is actually bigger than five by seven you're going to have a little bit of extra space there but the four by six fab file is probably an awesome choice for that four by six fab file because it's going to be bigger as well but not so big right so here's the four by six fab file and you said five and a quarter so you've got You have got six and a half one way, and you've got five the other way. So you're easily going to be able to go four and a quarter by five and a half. So kind of the best fit is probably going to be the four by six fab file. And this comes with either pockets, tab divider pockets, or it comes with um, file folders. And the file folders are nice for sorting. If you're, I'm trying to see if I have one here. I don't see it. Um, cards oh yeah so this is this is all birthday cards that are made and ready to be sent so this is what the file folders look like they're plastic file folder you're going to be able to use and reuse them over and over again uh, so one four by six fab file comes with the cards the other four by six fab file comes with tab divider pockets this is more cards yep uh so, and those can be used again, they're, they're the same dimension, but if you're storing scraps or smaller things, you can use that, but they're also the tab divider. So that works well also. Um, this is five by seven, that's too big for what you're asking. Also, um, yeah, I think that's the best. Nice thing about the fab files is they're sturdy. So they're protecting the edges and corners of things, right? So they're not as like crushable as buddy bags are. So that might be great for that card style. Um, Paulette Hanstein says, are you going to keep making the eight and a half by 11 store and supply case, all four sizes, please like the new 12 by 12, but the smaller ones are better for me. Yes. So the reason that we are out of stock on that eight and a half by 11, which is this guy right here, this is actually the new one is that we made it just a little bit longer so it'll work for eight and a half by 11 and it will also work for a4 paper so that new version i think is available now in the us so scrapbook.com may already have it the stamps of life probably already has it um and then we'll have it back on our website soon it's just that we're waiting for that new dimension to come in so keep your eyes out for it when it, we'll send out an email when it does, but I think you can get it at either one of those places as well. Um, um, huh. Will you come out with a fab file to hold stamp or anonymous stamp cards? They're approximately six by nine. Um, I think they'll fit in this. So, Oh, this is the um, Katie buddy bag, and she works with the 8 by 5 pockets, which means 
Well, she's bigger than eight. Oh, that would be, she's exactly six. So if they are six or just a hair under, they're gonna be fine there. And then height wise, mm, the nine is gonna be tough. Okay, but what about Kirsten? Kirsten would probably work for six by nine. Oh, Kirsten, come to me. Uh, I don't pull all of them, okay. So here's Kirsten. And she's nine by max height. Yeah, so the Kirsten buddy bag would work fine. The top of the Kirsten kind of pops up like this so that if you do have taller things all, all the way through, they're gonna still fit in there. So look at the Kirsten buddy bag for uh, six by nine. I think it'll be perfect for that. And there are pockets that go nine by six pockets as well. So if you wanna put a magnet in, dies, stamps. This is sewing pattern, so there's no magnets in there, but. The Kirsten Buddy Bag has a nine by six pocket and also has an eight by five magnet that fits in that nine by six pocket. So you can keep your dies and stamps and stencils and all the things that go together in one of those pockets. So that's a great solution for that. <clears throat> uh, Rhonda Crowley says, are you still going to make storage for the larger paper? I'm working on it. I'm all in on that. Um, like the 12 by 24. And then of course the A3, which we talked about earlier. So I'll address all of those and see what we can get going on that. I think that's a great idea. Question, uh, Julia Gregory says, will you come out with a fab file to hold? Oh, I just read that. Okay, we're good. Um, what's the blah, okay. I think I got all the questions, right? You just held them up a bit ago. That, that is what I was talking about my previous. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't, we have, I think, Okay, so what you're talking about is the punch packs or store and go bags. Uh, she's at, sorry, this. These come in one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch depths. Um, we did make them longer as well, so that um, so this is an eight and a half by eleven footprint, and we just made it a little bit longer so that if you were storing A4 paper in there, it would fit as well. So uh, when they're back in stock with us, those changes will be made. I think that the Stamps of Life has all three, all four of them in stock. Scrapbook.com will have them in stock if they're available in the U.S. warehouse. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'll check store, when store and goes are going to be back. I think we have uh, one size in stock now. I think it's this, the two inch on our website. Um, but the others, the one, the one and a half. I know they're just being a little, getting a little bit of a remodel and then they'll be back. So, but I, I do think the two inch is available right now on our website. Um, okay, I think I got all the questions. Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, husband is doing models, beading, 10 inch. All right, my friends, if you haven't commented or questioned or sent us some sort of information, you probably aren't gonna make the drawing because you know Leanne's gonna be doing that any second. Uh, Okay, I think I have all the questions here. Um, Brandy works for Border Strips too. Oh, Barb Carlson says, Brandy works for Border Strips too, which is a great point, Barb, thank you. So this is Brandy, and these are the 12-inch strips. So they're gonna just be a perfect fit in there, and if you've got them vertical like this, they're gonna stick up over the top. So uh, Brandy is a good option as well. Depend, so depending on how you're storing and moving around your crafty world, Brandy might be the girl for you also. All right. Um, uh, what are the, uh, Kay says, what are the containers called behind you? Your right side top shelf. What sizes do they come in, please? So my right side top shelf. I don't, I'm not sure what you guys can see versus what I see. So these are the slide stash and store, if that's what you're talking about. They come in five sizes. So this is the six, we call this Big Bertha, right? She's holding Edna buddy bags or Merle buddy bags with ribbon in them. She's the widest girl. And there is, I believe, a printable slide stash and store product guide. 
This is the number five, right? A little bit narrower. I've got her loaded with brandy, buddy bags. Uh, this is the four. So four I have got stored with lots of tools, you know, big bulky things like um, the We Are punch boards and that type of thing. I can store the instructions and all the bits and pieces together. Uh, that's the number four. This is the number three, a little bit thinner than four. Number, no, this is number three, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a two, no. Mm. No, that's a two, sorry. So here I've got my mini punch boards here. This is the two and I've got paints also in that kind of give you some idea of how those work. And then the number one is the little guy. So all kinds of goodies in the number one, also perfect for thread. Now these come, so you can see all the different colors there. These come in packs of three by size. Sometimes we have a bundle on the website where you're gonna get all of them as well, but these are super handy. So if that's what you're talking about, um, uh, okay. Um, they are the slide stash in store. Uh, Liz Coke says, when is next GOC? Not sure, but I'm gonna follow up on that. And, oh, that's, those are old. These are things I missed earlier. Uh, I love the flip and storage binder for organized die cuts and cards. I can't find the refill pages. We no longer make them. So if you're sorry about that. I think that's last week, maybe. I've gone too far. All right, my friend, Cindy Sutherland. She says, question, buddy bag for mini Catherine Pooler inks. Um, if they are the little square inks, um, Cin Cindy, hi, Cindy. Um, they are going to fit in either the eight drawer storage and supply case, or they're going to fit in the Shelly buddy bag uh, as well. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, my friends, I think we have a winner. Um, uh, okay. This week's winner, Shirley Antonaro. I don't hope I'm saying your last name right. Shirley Antonaro, you have won a $25 gift certificate from Totally Tiffany. All you need to do to claim your prize is if you're not a Club Inspire member, you want to go on to the Totally Tiffany website and sign up for Club Inspire and then email prizes with an S at crafterscompanion.com, prizes at crafterscompanion.com and say, hey, I'm the winner of the $25 gift certificate on T Tiffany's Tuesday Live today. And they will hook you up with that. I think they just deposit it right into your account so you can shop right away. So congratulations, Shirley. All right, everybody else, thank you so much for joining me. And remember, buddy bags, buy three, get your fourth one free. I think that all happens by the magic of your shopping cart. So for every four bags you put in your shopping cart, um, the website is going to give you the least expensive one for free. So um, figure out what you need for buddy bags. Take advantage of that sale. That's 25% off. It's a good deal. If you're not already a member of Club Inspire, you definitely want to sign up before you make a purchase. You get a special deal on your purchases, but also sneak, sneak. There is, um, I believe, a little bonus uh, for Club Inspire members coming up this weekend. I think you get to level up and see what the advantages are. So if you're bronze or silver or gold, or you get to level the next level up this weekend, I think, if I, if I understand correctly what's happening. Um, so definitely sign up for Club Inspire. You don't want to miss out on those great deals. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully Susie will be back next week. Things will be a little bit smoother, but I'm glad you stuck with me. Have a great rest of your week.